back, we're gonna go into abs, and then the final part will be a cool down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a little cardio again, just so the heart rate stay up, even when we're sitting down and doing abs. So go ahead and come down, we'll show you some options. I'm gonna start with mountain climbers, hands down, I'm gonna press the, our armpits into the center, lengthen the legs, hips are a little high, squeeze the belly in. You can just tap it in if that's better for you, or you can jump it in, let's keep going, let's go for 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, hold it here, tap it out, tap it out, or do a little jumping jack, move those weights out of the way, and 10, it's nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, three, two, one, hold it back here, you might just walk it in, in, out, out, or jump it in for 10, hold, it's nine, hold, it's eight, hold, and seven, hold, and six, five, and four, and three, and two, and hold your plank, squeeze the armpits together, make the legs strong, tuck the tailbone under, squeeze the belly in, lengthen the spine, for three, and two, and release, beautiful. Come back, just shake the shoulders out, stretch them out, and we're gonna come back to seated. So we're gonna go into our ab work. In abs, I still work chest, so I keep some weights close by, <clears throat> and we work some legs as well. So we're just gonna start with one weight first. Toes up, lean back, and then notice a few things. Your spine is not rounded. You're gonna press the shoulder blades back, lift the chest, lean back, squeeze into the belly. Hold the arms here. You're gonna tap, center, lift. Tap, and lift, and tap, and reach, and tap, and reach. You're getting arms, getting abs, obliques, and lift up, and reach, and tap. And reach, keep leaning back, tap. The more you can lean, the straighter you make your spine, the more work you're getting in the entire front of your body. And lift, and tap, stay centered, and tap, and tap, and tap. Notice my hips don't move, they're staying stable. And tap, and tap, and tap, and tap. Try not to lift the feet off the ground, it can actually hurt the low back. You're gonna keep the heels down, lift the toes, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center, just relieve the spine, inhale, and then roll on down. I'm gonna come onto the ground. I'm gonna keep my waist with me. And the first thing you wanna notice is the low back likes to lift up. You're gonna take your pelvis and tilt it down and press the low back down. Get your waist and lift the legs up. Two choices, you can keep the knees bent, it's totally fine. Arms come up, okay? So the right leg is gonna come straight down. I want you to do it really slow. I want you to hold it here, press the belly down, press the tailbone down, use the chest, and then exhale, slowly come up. We'll do one more slow on the other side. Here we go. Bring it down. Hold it there, squeeze the heel forward, squeeze the back down, chest is tight, and slowly up. Cool. We're gonna continue a little faster. Here we go. It's down, lift it up, squeeze it up. It's down, up, squeeze, and down, up, squeeze. Notice you're working your quads, your abs, your chest, and lift, and out, in, press, and out, in, press. Got three more. Out, in, Press, two more, out, in, press, hold it here, reach for the toes, lift the head and chest, squeeze the belly down for five, and four, and three, and two, and one, awesome. Bring the feet together and bend the knees. I'm gonna tap the toes, not just down, bring the toes forward and down, arms only halfway back. As you exhale, you're gonna lift all the way up to the sky, inhale, exhale here, Inhale, tap down and forward. And exhale, reach and tap. And reach and tap and reach. Remember that low back is pressing down. Your toes are coming forward and down. And lengthen and reach. Let's go five, 
five more to go for five. Down, you're gonna squeeze that belly in, four. And down, the whole time the belly's squeezing down, three. And down, and two, and down, and one. Hold it here, tap to the toes. Lift the head and chest for two, and three, and four. I got low back pressing down for five. Four more, four, and three, and two. Remember, exhale, we're gonna lift up, and one. Awesome, hold it here. And we're going to release the arms, okay? You're gonna have the arms behind you, and see if you can come all the way up, lift, and tap, and slowly come down, and lengthen. And reach, just about five of those, right? And through two. And lift. Got just two more to go like that. And down. If that was too much, you could just stay here and just pulse it up like this until we finish our five. Two more to go. And lift. And one more. And lift and reach. And down. Then release in. Hands behind the head. Press the low back down. You're going to go bicycle. Elbow to knee. We're not just fluttering the legs. It's tap. It's tap. And tap. And tap, and tap, and tap. We've got five to go, and five. Remember, lower back pressing down, belly pressing down to the back, and three, two. Let's do double time. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. See if you can hold it there. Press the other leg up. Reach behind, but don't touch for three, two, one. Switch. It's three, two. One, let's do one more whole set. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, elbow to knee. Really reach and twist for five, four, three. If it's too much, you stay here and just lift and lift and three and two and one. Double time. 10, nine, eight, seven. You can stay here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Last thing, hold, lengthen, and hold. Press the heel up, switch it, press, and release. Squeeze the legs in, rock and roll with it. Anyone takes the class from me, you know I end in a plank. We're gonna use the plank. The plank is amazing for the entire body. It lengthens your muscles and kind of squeezes them towards the bones. Let's put the weights away. So we'll come onto our forearms, right? And the elbows, shoulders, and middle finger are on the same plane, legs come out. If your hips are up high, you'll bring them down to the level of your shoulders. Squeeze the armpits in towards the heart. Press the heels back, lift the thighs up. Make the legs strong and straight. Press the belly up, chest is forward. I'm gonna hold it here. If you need a small break, don't move the hips, just drop the knees, okay? Here we go, 10 seconds, and nine, and eight, and seven, squeeze the elbows down and out. Squeeze the armpits in for five, and four, and three, and two. You can keep going like this for 10 more seconds. A little extra, tap the knees, press the heels back. Tap the knees, press the heels back. Tap the knees, press the heels back. Squeeze your belly in towards the spine. And five to go, and tap, and four, and tap and three, and tap, and two, and tap. You guys got it, five seconds, five, four, squeeze it up, three, two, oh, one, oh, let it go. Woo, bring the knees in, bring them out to the edges, toes together, and let your arms fall back behind you and just let everything go for a moment. Take a deep breath in the nose, let it go. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and then go into a cool down and a stretch for those who have time. If you don't have time, at least stay for the first minute or two and get a little stretch in your low back. And hope you've been enjoying that today, a body workout. Go ahead and join me in a moment for our cool down.